Today I will show you how to tell God that you are ready, that you are ready to be a newborn. You are ready to commit your life to the only Savior of the world. You are ready to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to tell you that God is really proud of you. He is proud of you seeing how much courage and bravery you have to move on. Let's get started. Step 1. You have to be serious. You have to acknowledge that God is not a fairy tale. Many people talk about like it is made believe. If you want to play games, go to Disneyland. It depends on you if you really want to take this to the next level. If you are sick and tired of living a wicked life, and you feel like you need to live on a different world with better oxygen, then you came to the right place. Straight to God. Step 2. You have to trust. I know everyone says this, but it is true. You might have asked yourself, but what exactly do I trust? I trust that He is with me. I trust that He would make a way. But what exactly am I supposed to put my trust after that? Mark 11.24 teaches us how to pray biblically whatsoever your desire. You must pray. Step 1. Believe that you have received it. Step 2. And you shall have it. Step 3. Believe. People pray, wait to receive, and then believe. It's backwards. It's 132, not 123. And that's why people lose hope. Okay, God, I prayed for this new job. Where is it? That's not the right way. God, I thank you for giving me this new job. Although I don't have it now. You said that, if I pray, I will believe and I will receive. That's how you should pray. Most people say, Father God, please give me this job. No. Father God, even if I don't have a job, I will believe that you will prove it one for me. Amen.